Hello everybody, this is John with Napco Technical Support. In this brief video tutorial, we're going to be going over how to locally and manually update the firmware for your IBR Z Remote, iRemote, NLMod, uh, UL, GEMC NLMod, uh, also the newer IBR Z Remote dash W uh, Wi Fi model, and newer IBR Z Remote and iRemote models that have a single Ethernet port. Uh, so first and foremost, we must ensure that you have the latest NLMod configuration tool, which is 3.0.5.10. This version supports all the current and past models, and you can verify that by clicking Help and About NLMod Config, and this will show you the current version. Uh, if you are not running the latest version, you can download the latest version at our technical support site, which is tech.napcosecurity.com. So how do you know if you need to update your firmware? It's a good question. Uh, it's good practice. Uh, it's good practice to keep firmware up to date, you know. But normally, if there isn't anything wrong with your module, uh, there isn't any high priority need to update all the firmwares uh, as they're released, uh, especially any new uh, purchased devices in a year or two, which are probably all running the latest uh, firmwares already. So only in particular cases is if your module may. For example, be experiencing unknown issues or your module is many, many years old and is now acting up in some case, or you might need some special firmware that supports third party automation systems, or simply if you just like to have the latest and greatest, uh, these will be times to update your firmware. So if you go to our technical support site and go into our download section, uh, which is on the software downloads and app go, uh, this is where you can download uh, any of the latest firmware and as you see most of the firmware is that are latest if we scroll down here for the IBRZ remote which is what we're going to be updating you'll see it'll say latest and the same would go for an iRemote an NLMod or a GEMC NLMod uh, you would be able to download the zip file uh, from our tech support site so let's if you click here download you do need to have a, an account a dealer account with us uh, so if you don't uh, you can register here uh, at the top would have a register link so we'll get and proceed and download this uh, Z remote firmware files and this I already downloaded to the desktop uh, so we will go to the desktop here and as you see the zip file so first things we need to extract all these documents and the firmware files here okay and we'll double click here and these are the two files that we would be updating, the 3N7 and 6176. Uh, so we need to highlight both. If you press the uh, control key or the shift key, and you could select both at the same time, and we'll right click and then hit copy. And we need to paste these files into the firmware directory. And I'm going to show you where it's located. So it's located in your C drive. Uh, program files x86 it is a 32-bit application so some computers might just have program files that's where it would be located uh, but if you have a 64-bit machine you're going to see this second folder here so uh, we'll click on x86 and we'll go to NAPCO security group uh, and our mod config firmware and in this folder we will right click anywhere in the blank space here and paste them into this folder. Uh, so now as you see, we have 3N7 and 6176. So we'll go ahead and close this out. Give that. So now in the NLMod software, uh, very important that you need to be connected locally to the same network that the uh, module is on. So uh, we do strongly recommend to be, you know, hardwired to the customer's router if possible. Uh, you know, you can go via Wi-Fi, but make sure that the Wi-Fi network is on the same uh, uh, local uh, area network as the uh, module. You know, again, that you're not on some sort of, uh, you know, separate access point or guest network. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure you're on the same local network. So, uh, so first things we'll do is we'll hit search. And we found it module here and we double click on it and I always like to do an upload first just to ensure that we are communicating it first or anything so we'll go ahead and upload and as you see at the bottom it is communicating and we got upload complete and that's very good so now we know that we are communicating and to update firmware 
now that we dumped those two files into the firmware folder, click File, Download Firmware. We'll talk to it. And as you see here, there are four different firmwares uh, for the for the uh, the new Wi-Fi models and the single port modules. You're going to see four pieces of firmware um, that's available to download. Uh, currently, now with the uh, all the past models, uh, you just have three. You have an NL mod, an RCM, and a Z-Wave. And in this case, we're only updating the RCM or the Z-Wave. And again, the same would pertain if you were updating an iRemote or an NL mod. You know, there would be an additional firmware for NL mod here. So the way you download firmware is you simply just check off the download and then hit start. And now we are downloading the RCM firmware. Uh, so these should take up to five minutes or less to download and update. Uh, and once completed, it should say successful. Okay, so once the download is complete, you will see this pop-up box and say firmware download complete. Uh, so we will press OK. And then we can go ahead and proceed to click File and Download Firmware again. And now we're going to proceed to download the Z-Wave. And just to notate that, you know, downloading firmware has to be done uh, individually. Uh, so you see how we did the RCM first, and then, you know, Z-Wave would be next. Uh, so you can't do multiple. You have to download them singly. Uh, singly. So we press Download here. And now we're going to start the Z-Wave update. And you see at the bottom is connecting. And now it is downloading the Z-Wave firmware. And we'll wait for this to complete here. Okay, so when the Z-Wave firmware is completed, it'll get this pop-up, Z-Wave firmware download complete. And we can press OK. And once you're done, I always like to check to verify that the new firmware has been updated. And you can do this by pressing uh, Option at the top here and selecting Display NL Mod Info. And this will show us the NL Mod information. And as you see here, we have the 3N7 6176 Z Wave. And those are the two firmwares that we just updated. Uh, so that completes our video tech tip for how to locally and manually update your Z-Remote, iRemote, NL Mods, GemC NL Mods. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed this video, uh, and please give our videos a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for up-to-the-minute video tech tip releases. Uh, thank you for choosing NAPCO, and have a great day.